There are certain things that happen to you that just come out of nowhere. And if you're like me, I'm a thinker. When things happen, I need to go off and think, how in the world did this happen? Because if I can make sense of it, I can deal with it better. Where, where did this come from? These guys woke up in the morning and they said, didn't we sow good seed in the field? They, so they immediately eliminated, this is not something I sowed. See, see, there's no need in us complaining if we are only reaping what we sowed. So the first thing they had to do was make sure that what they were reaping was not the residual effect of something that they sowed. Then they said, from whence cometh this? Because we need as people to make sense out of life. God just created us and part of our God-like nature is that we have the ability to reason. It's a great blessing from God, the ability to reason. And we want to know the reason for everything. You remember the one man who got, was blind in the scriptures and they asked Jesus, oh, who sinned, his mother or his father, that he would be born blind? They're trying to make sense out of this condition. And Jesus said, neither, but for the glory of God. He said, some things just happens as a setup for God to show himself strong in your life. There are certain situations that occur in your life that have no reason and they make no sense, but God allows them to happen so that he can show himself strong in your life. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to tell you that God allows you to get in trouble sometimes just so that he can show you how strong he is at getting you out of trouble. Oh, uh, that's, that's really going to get deep. That's really going to get deep. So I better prove that God could have gotten the children of Israel out of Egypt without any problem for Pharaoh. But the Bible said that God hardened Pharaoh's heart. He meant for Pharaoh to get nasty and get hateful and do everything he could to destroy the children of Israel so that he could have an enemy to fight so that they could see how strong he was. They hadn't worshipped him for 400 years. So he said, let me show you what I can do. I'm going to let him fight you, back you in a corner, get you to the Red Sea, let you be terrified, let you panic, let you hear him about to attack you. And just in the nick of time, when it's seemingly no way out, I'm going to make a way out of no way so that when you get to the other side of the Red Sea, nobody will have to teach you how to praise me. You will come up praising me because you will have seen my power in your problem oh my god do you hear what I'm saying God wants you to see his power in your problem he said my strength is made perfect in weakness so when all hell is breaking loose God is just creating an opportunity to show you that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper we want to pray, don't let any weapon be formed. But God said, you'll never know how strong I am until you see how strong the attack is against you and see how I kept you anyway. God wants you to see his power in your problem.